What's up guys, it's Sam and Colby. Today we are reacting to the scariest supernatural things police have ever caught on dash cams. Alright, here we go. This was recorded from a police officer's dash cam. He's scanning the area, but he oh. captures oh. He jumped! Oh my god! Oh, I would do the f Holy oh, shit! Blood curdling, dude! Not gonna lie, when I first saw that, I was about to be like, huh, pussy. Got scared of that, but that was a scary <laughs> scream. Imagine Whoa. when we heard that like 3 a.m. in our house, like when we were sleeping. Oh my god! Yeah, we would have screamed just like that back if that happened to us. I saw that. I still didn't see it. No, dude, it was like a little shadow figure. It like appeared halfway through the road and then like ran off, but it was big. Boom. That thing. Oh, what? I couldn't even tell what that was. So was it a bear or was it a Bigfoot? It could have been either, but it was flying. It was looking for that in the road. Dude. You so totally rock. Rumored shadow aliens. Aliens invading Miami are going viral on social media. This was recent. Dating? You know about this? Yeah, this was huge. Conspiracy theorists are saying that shadowy figure appears to be an alien. Oh, well, I mean, I see the figures, but wouldn't there be more? Honestly, I think it looks pretty real to me. Uh, alien look pretty chill. I'd be friends with an alien. <laughs> what the? Dude, no! That is a great summary of what Miami is. I just saw an alien. I want to be friends with them. Huh? I don't know if I think that's an alien though. I feel like in America, at least, police would instantly fire at something like that. Shoot at it! Sketchy! I don't know! Police get spooky 911 call. Just before 3.30 in the morning, the police department communication center got a call. He looks like a robot. <laughs> he looks like he's reading a green screen. The other person hung up, so they called back, got an answer, and heard mostly static. Hello? The what? Hello? You can't even make words out of that. No. Whoa. Um, it sounds like they're having a conversation really far away. An officer was sent out to check out the funeral home and cemetery and says it was locked up and dark with no one in sight. What? To me, it sounded like a couple guys, they called 911 and they freaked out with a bunch of friends that just like tossed the phone on the ground. But if not, that's interesting. That's like someone died and thought they were in trouble, so their spirit called 911. How'd they get the phone? You'd think if a spirit can come back and use our, like, spirit box. Afterlife. They could use a phone. Why don't they call us? Hey, spirit's watching this. You know who to call. A ghost daughter appears in murderer Chris Watts's home. His body cam footage was recorded two days after Watts was arrested for killing his entire family. Oh, that was daylight. That's really creepy. 2018. Oh! 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 It was his daughter. That is insane. And definitely the most believable. Creepy. That's a five out of five believability. Cops investigate UFO crash. Oh yeah. That says 2023, May 1st. Oh, is this the recent one that was in Las Vegas? Oh, maybe. Let's find out. Ooh. It was. It was. I don't know if you remember this. We reacted that same clip in this video right here. That happened literally 20 minutes away from us. That's crazy. Maybe we can go find the aliens. I mean, they're eight feet tall naked men. I think we need to investigate that. We need to investigate that. <laughs> it started out as a pretty typical Saturday night. Española police officer Carl Romero was on duty. He's doing a real good job. Lean back. <laughs> keeping an eye on the surveillance cameras around the station when he saw something in the sally port. That was like a fly, a moth, and then I saw the legs and it was a human. <laughs> How the fuck? You mistake a fly or a moth for a goddamn six foot tall human. Maybe he was uh, smoking a little bit on the jab. <laughs> He's just leaning back. Like, <laughs> Holy shit, that's a moth human. Detectives say there's no logical explanation for this. Not an issue with the lighting or Oh, the well, that's good footage. Okay. That looks really creepy, actually. A lot of our officers have seen certain things. Wow. Uh, some of our officers have felt what, what appears to be somebody breathing down their neck. We might have to go investigate that police station. <laughs> yeah, like it makes sense with all the hauntings that we've dealt with that there's probably so much traumatic energy in police stations because you probably just got booked for whatever reason. So you're for nervous. whatever reason. That was probably the most believable to me mm -hmm. so far. Gliding figure caught on police dash cam. Strange figure that looks like a person seems to glide behind both Joe and the oh, police. That's not gliding, that's sprinting. They would have looked too if somebody was sprinting behind them. How did they think that was gliding? I feel like gliding is slow and like steady. That well, guy was like, did you see his legs though? I just feel like he didn't have legs. He was like, 
Like he was like supermaning, like Superman at all. Oh, that's pretty sick, actually. It's pretty sick. I like that clip. The runaway calves across the carriageway. The boy is going to fall. Oh and my falls god. To death. Wait. Or you should be. Where is he? There's no one outside, no one behind the wheel, and the van is locked. Is what? It's what? It's in the back. When did he leave, dude? Either that was a ghost or the world's best escape artist. Yeah, I mean, the only thing I can think of is like pulling off the bottom of the car, like, <laughs> So either he's in the trunk or he jumped on a little broom and flew away. <laughs> Whoa! Bigfoot 911 call? The movie Bigfoot County opens with a creepy 911 <laughs> call. The caller reports what? a man like Thing in his yard measuring 6'9. Measuring who? 6'9? Yo. Thing in his yard measuring 6'9. Oh, so he's measuring in height. Yeah. 6'9. I was the only one confused. About Easily that. confused, though. Get somebody out. What's going on now, sir? That bottle of a bitch is about 6'9. I don't know. You see him now, sir? Yeah, How do you know exactly at uh, inches? Okay, what's Ooh, he was scared. Oh, wait, that's so scary. He's looking at me. Boom. Aside from the manufactured ending, this is a real 911 call. Except for our fake video, this was all real evidence. What? All right, let's listen to the full audio. Wait, before we play this, what do you think it's going to sound like? Why? Because they captured Bigfoot. It's going to be like a police guy being like, holy fuck, you see that? And just... <laughs> if you could hear Bigfoot in the background, I would cry. <laughs> I don't know. what it, it, It's a big, real big person. That's all I can say. Okay, it is a, it is a person. Yeah, I just was a person or somebody really big. <laughs> you can't hear the big foot. Yeah, I so. think he just saw a really tall motherfucker walking through his yard. Yeah, like if you see any basketball player just walking around your backyard and it's super dark at night. Maybe they're wearing just this giant trench coat and it kind of looks like they're Bigfoot. Yeah. Oh, UFO in Canada. Let's get it. Oh, God. Whoa! Whoa! Oh. Wait, that could have just been a meteor. A giant meteor. Are they that bright? I mean, yeah. They probably be that bright. They're on fire when they enter the atmosphere. They're pretty much like a little sun. Okay, well, either way, that's insane. That's probably the craziest meteor clip I've ever seen. Because they usually look like little shooting stars. I don't know my astrology terms, but... Are you a Capricorn? I am a Capricorn. That's kind of cool. But I feel like a comet or something is what you see, like a shooting star, right? Okay. But like a meteor, I don't fucking know, actually. It's what like a rock. What is the difference between a meteor and a comet? A comet is what you put underneath a YouTube video. Door flings open at police station. Oh, oh, whoa, whoa. Wait, that was really fast. Dang, wait, that's really good. Cause that was an abnormal way to like pull open a door. I feel like even a human couldn't pull it that fast. It was like, yeah, somebody like yanked that shit open. Guys, if you want us to react to more police dash cam footage like this, give it a like. Let us know some more down in the comments. Peace.